Right, so I've, I've allowed that embed code to work. What I'm actually going to do is going to use this iframe. I don't think the embed code for me is going to work in my forum. So I'm going to use the iframe. So I'm going to create a new... How do I embed a, a widget form, right? I'm going to delete this in a minute anyway. So when I paste that code in, it picks up the form. So you may have to work out which will work on your website. I would think if you've got a WordPress website and you're adding this information to, to your post or what a page, what you're doing, the embed will work for you. If you want it to show up in the corner with a little plus button, put this in this the header code where you would um, usually put your, like, your Google Analytics or something like that. But don't worry. We'll break out a proper lesson for this, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. I'll set up a, a, a temporary WordPress thing. I just wanted to quickly it, it show you how to use Zendesk, really. Uh, Zendesk. Zoho Desk. So that's a quick um, way of embedding a form. So now if I go pull um, embed at nicholson.com, uh, I need help. I certainly do. I need help, Paul. Add in your 2NJW3S. Uh, you're not a robot, Paul. And submit. Thanks for your feedback. And it vanishes. Um, I suppose if you refresh, it would come back. You may have to set up a welcome or a thank you sort of area for that. So that's how to quickly create a web form. Let me just delete that. Delete. Otherwise, people will be adding stuff to my topic. If if you... I really wanted to probably show you that, didn't I? Because it didn't show as, as, um, as this on that form. So I really wanted to show you exactly how it works. So let's go here and pop up. I'm going to go to my admin... And I'm going to paste this into my header. Customize light in my header code. So your header code, where you put your analytics, where you put information. Most themes in WordPress will have a header code um, box for you to, uh, to be able to add that to it. But just come on here and ask me a question if you're struggling. So if I preview that and I refresh, here we go, feedback. And that opens that box. Obviously, there's no... There's no content, there's no knowledge based stuff here, but you could you could in theory type in whatever you were looking for. And if the knowledge base article articles were there, you could um basically serve them forward and say, is this what you need before you send a ticket, right? So oh for that, I know it's a bit confusing, but like I said, this is just really a a video on how to how to see the features and the benefits of Zodesk, not necessarily exactly how to use it for you.